Science was a natural career choice for me. Uh, my dad has a PhD in physics, and so I kind of grew up in that sort of home environment. My uh, mother is a poet, a uh, widely published poet on uh, 20 books of poetry or so. And the focus of a lot of her poems uh, you know, involve scientific concepts and the natural world. And so I was getting it from kind of both sides, the quantitative you know, thoughts around science and then maybe deeper philosophical perspectives uh, as well. I think I started out feeling that I wanted to be an academic physicist, but then begin to think um, maybe it would be a lot more enjoyable to build stuff, you know, and make devices and uh, think about engineering more than just fundamental physics. We love the fundamental science, but you choose scientific problems whose solutions have technology potential and broader societal impacts. And that's kind of the culture we've tried to establish here. As a faculty uh, member, I think I'm most dedicated to my students. That, that's my main focus. Creating an environment here that allows them to experience and develop a love for, for research, and maybe more importantly, use this place as a springboard to take them uh, in, in the next direction that they choose to, to take their career. That's a great way to contribute to, to the broader community, and that becomes a, a key part of how I see my mission and my role. Seeing how what we're doing in the lab has the potential for real world consequences in terms of improving patients' lives, I think really adds a lot of focus and dedication and energy and passion around uh, what we're doing.